Hi there, and welcome back to SpreadsheetPoint.com. In this brief video, I will show you six fun keyboard shortcuts and a few other formatting tricks to help you save some time. These tricks I use almost every day. The first one would be the Formats Painter button. This is a very powerful little button that I use, like I said, almost daily. Instead of clicking formatting different cells manually one by one. Let me show you what I mean here. Let's say we have a text here that's bold. Okay. And it's a large, and then we have some text down here. This is just an example, of course, but let's say we have that. Okay. And I want to make this format the same as this format. So I could do this and keep going. And I have to find out the font and the size and all of that. Instead of doing that, this button right here is the, is the format painter. How it works is you click on a cell that you want to copy the format from. You click the painter and then you click on the cell or cells that you want that format to be just like that. And it does the trick. I'll highlight a few like that. Boop. Let's say this row was red and I want these 1922 and 25 to be red. I could do this. That's a lot of clicks. Now I'll undo that. Instead, you can click the format painter. Just like that. Another trick, if you double click the format painter button. So I've just double clicked it now. Now I can, I can click it as many times as I want and it formats that row exactly the same. Just a little trick I like to use, the format painter button. Next one would be F4. F4 is simply a keystroke that allows you to repeat whatever you did in Excel again, essentially basically repeating what you've just done. So let's say I want to delete this row. I'm going to highlight the row, right click and delete. And I want to delete this row, delete and this row, delete. What if I want to delete all of these next rows? Well, instead of right click clicking and delete, all you do is highlight the row, push F4 and it will repeat that last task or thing that you did. Let's try it again using these colors. So let's say red, red, instead of going up to here, do red, I just hit F4 and it does the exact same that I, that I just did. The next one is flash fill. This one is quite interesting in that it senses patterns that you do within Excel. I'll go to the flash fill tab to show you. So it's, there's some names in this column. We will call this full name, name first and last. If you're typing, if you don't want to use functions, let's say, and you just, you're typing your data out, John Smith, all you have to do is press control E, control E, and it actually remembers the pattern that you're doing. And it thinks you're going to type in that and it types it all in for you. I'll could press control E again, and it does the exact same thing. And there's some flash fill options as well. I want to accept that just like that. The next one would be auto sum. Very simple stuff here. You're just going to press alt equals and instead of writing in that sum formula, it brings in the sum formula for you. So again, anywhere underneath, underneath some numbers, alt equals just like that. Next one would be duplicates. So it's alt plus a plus M. This one's quite interesting as well. Highlight the data, alt a M. It's going to allow me to remove the duplicates that I want to, to delete duplicate values, select one or more columns that contain duplicates. So in this case, there are some duplicate names here, Alice Smith and Alice Smith. I'm going to highlight B, boom. And it just deleted those, those duplicate values for me. Let's say I don't want to delete the value. So I just want to highlight them Undo that. That's my last item here. Duplicates too, for conditional formatting. Okay. Highlight your data. You're going to go to the home menu and the conditional formatting right here. There's many different, very cool options you can do within conditional formatting. Let me show you a few. Highlight cell rules, duplicate values. Look at that. It highlights all of my duplicate values. I will cancel. Let's say I just want to see the names, the duplicate names. So you highlight, or you, you will select the column that the names are in. Conditional formatting, highlight, duplicate values. Bam, just like that. I'll show you one more cool thing with conditional formatting. Let's say I want to put, put some, some graphics around the salary to see who has the highest salaries. You'll highlight that column, conditional formatting. You have some icon sets here. 
You use the stars. Just like that. And where's the thresholds for these numbers? Conditional formatting, manage rules. You're going to select the format that you just done and then edit the rule. You'll see you can na you're able to change these percentiles. So currently it's 67% uh, the highest and higher. It's going to put a big star between 67 and 33%. It's going to be the half. And then under 33% within the, these range of numbers is going to be an empty star. I hope you found these quick tricks helpful. For more information, please follow spreadsheetpoint.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.